Welcome students. In this video, I'm going to be talking about what you need to do if you did not yet reach proficiency in the standard PS3B, energy conservation and energy transfers. This question was largely addressed in 4B on our socket, soccer unit assessment. However, you might have put it in different places on your test. Many people simply did not address this standard, which is located down here on the bottom of the test. As I was grading, I realized that there were better ways to write out the rubric. So if you are revising this, you're going to want to make sure and look at the rubric that I have put into this collision unit revision sheet which is on the back side of your paper copy that you can pick up in class. So there are some slight modifications here from the original version. What I'm looking for in this standard is the ability to explain, once you've already addressed kinetic energy uh, between the player and the other object before the collision, I want you to explain how is that kinetic energy transferring between the objects in that system. And to get to level two, you basically need to be able to name the kinetic energy transfer and where it happens. Okay, to get to a level three, you're gonna be talking about how that energy transfers. So specifically, you're gonna to wanna to address that during the collision, the kinetic energy transfers and talk about uh, the how will, will largely be about um, how the relative amounts are shifting during that transfer. To get to a level four, you would want to address the relative amounts of kinetic energy in the objects after the collision and make sure to account for the um, where all of the energy goes in this system. I'd also like you to address why the transfer of energy ultimately leads to a change in motion. And those are all of the things that you will need to do to get to a level four. Now you can use words or pictures to explain this. And I think that's it. So just make sure that uh, you look here at this comment. This is also giving you an overview of what you need to do. You would say, yes, you have watched this in Canvas. Um, give a gist of the comments. Basically, how did you get your score? So you might say something like, I just simply didn't address it. Or if there were some inaccuracies, you would want to explain that. And then finally, what have you done to review the ideas before the standard? Many of you, I think, know this information and don't necessarily need to review. So you could go ahead and write that you just simply forgot to include this. And so review wasn't necessary beyond listening to this video and looking at the rubric. All right, hope this helps.